Italia. Come, ride your bike, enjoy. I'm sorry on my ride, 20th of June, 2024. <sighs> cool. Yeah, that was really enjoyable. I enjoyed that. I have ridden bikes pretty much all of my life, since I was four years old. And uh, this time next week, I'll be 54. But I have never ridden what I'm about to ride. When I spin the camera around, you'll understand what I'm going on about, okay? I've driven up here, and now I'm going down, and then I'm gonna come back up. And this is the story of my ride for the 20th of June, 2024. Just rolled into uh, Lakeside, let's say, just to hit my turnaround. So that's like uh, probably the easiest 17 and a half kilometers of riding I've done, oh, certainly in a very long time. I'm so excited. So um, the morning began by uh, going and collecting a hire car from Galarate, leaving Michael Rogers' house, and um, and then just um, basically throwing a dart at the map of Italy. And um, I ended up near Isio. It was uh, recommended to me by a friend, and I'm glad he did. It's late in the day, trust me. Uh, it's just uh, it's gone five thirty in the evening, but the sun's still well. Actually, it was raining earlier today. And I was thinking, uh oh, my ride time's going to be compromised, and it is because I'm a little bit late. But I'm here for the weekend, so I'm going to go down the hill. And trust me, it is quite a hill. It could be just that I go to the lake, and then just come back up because there's a game on tonight: Italy versus Spain in the Euro Cup, and I'm keen to watch. So, I'm going to spend a couple of hours on the bike, and um, yeah, I'll um, I'll document the experience for you. That's uh, the intro to the story of my ride. It's a few tunnels along the way, so I'm not risking it. I've got some lights from my, uh, my, my new mate who I met yesterday, Vince. Uh, welcome, Rob. Pleased to be able to give you one of our rental bikes. It's a Cipollini Bond. We've got the bike measured up to you, to your size, to your fit. Uh, we'll give you a set of lights as well, okay, mm -hmm. which you can then take away and just, uh, if you want to use them. Okay. That's a ripper. Thanks. Enjoy. That was so easy. <laughs> Honestly, I talked about it when I collected the bike. I said, just, this is really very, very, very convenient. And I, I'm not lying. It's just absolutely unreal. Uh, while I'm still walking, and before I start rolling, I want to show you this. Check this out. Do you know what that is? The smoothest bitumen on the windiest climb that I can remember. And it's smooth all of the way. I drove up here. It's about a nine kilometer climb. And I don't think I saw a pothole. And I didn't see anything but this kind of tarmac. You know what that is? It's a party. Like it's a party for bike riders, really. And uh, this is my lodgings. And that's the bip of my car. And um, it's a um, it's a rental. I was told it was a VW, but it's actually this one. And if you've ever seen a doctor car, well, yeah. Um, I have two, but only as of this morning. So I've never seen a DR car. I don't even know how to say it, I don't know where it's from, I don't know anything other than it drives really well. And um, it fits my bike in the back. So there's a doctor car. I 
tell you more, but I, I don't know anymore. Okay, you got that. Bougainville. Bougainville. And uh, to say I'm excited is an understatement. And you'll see why soon. Because it's basically down, 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 down. Beautiful. And technical. I'm about a kilometre in. And before I go too much further, I will tell you this. I didn't, I, I couldn't do it in the intro, but I've pulled over it because I've just gone through the little village where my B&B is. And I can now tell you it's called Vigolo. That's what it looks like. I could easily just crack a beer and sit here, but, you know, that'd be stupid. So I'm on a riding holiday. And I'm trying to give up the booze, by the way. Um, so I don't think sitting down and taking in that view while drinking a beer would do me any favours. Uh, this is about the, let's say, the 26th kilometre on this bike. And to say it's stable is an understatement. Honest, honest, honest. She's no lightweight, but um, it's, oh, it's, it's a really nice handling bike. I can say from uh, having ridden all the way from, well, from Varese to uh, Mandricio or nearby yesterday after collecting it, that it's a, yeah, it's a really nice handling bike and I better actually uh, put the camera away. So I'm just, you know, breaking one handed. Uh, and there is a little bit of a, you know, like a bit of a descent, but you know, I, t I talked to you about that beautiful, beautiful bitchman. Here, check this out. Yeah, here we go. I'm not alone. So other people have got the same idea. And, ah, uh, I'm, I'm excited, but I'm also a little bit bummed because I've only got a weekend. I could pretty much move here and I've only been here all of a couple of hours. And um, fragrance, whew, hectic, like as in pollen in the sort of brain. It's kind of funny, they do like these um, warning, there's a turn coming up, but the whole thing is winding and if you went up, up and up, which is about 500 metres from memory of gradient, but I don't know, that's just what it said on the, the GPS as I was getting my instruction. If you came straight up, it'd be about, uh, I'd suggest it'd be about 50% uh, uh, gradient. <laughs> no joke, uh, but it's... <laughs> have a look at my Strava file and uh, you'll understand what I'm talking about. That for me, looks like him. Terry pause. I don't think it was for me. I was just joking. Uh, I just pulled over just because it was bloody beautiful. And also, just to let you know, the humidity is about a thousand percent. I don't know if that's actually an official figure or just how I feel, but it's mega warm. Well, it's warm, but um, I'm going to be dripping wet. Not from the swim that I'm tempted to have, but when I go up the hill, oh, man. I rode yesterday afternoon, and I'm riding in the afternoon again for the second day in a row. And that's something I have, well, I very, very rarely do at home because I hate riding in afternoon traffic in Sydney.
I've just hit the bottom. And uh, eight kilometers of descending from Bougainville bed and breakfast. And uh, my ears are popped. I can't hear what I'm saying. Maybe you can. And uh, yeah, uh, I didn't really have to pedal at all, but uh, I certainly did have to use the brakes. Funny thing, mountains all around, 14 kilometres, six metres of elevation gain. I think that rain's coming in. So a uh, tiny bit of pre precipitation. And um, I've just um, rolled into uh, Lakeside, let's say. <sighs> just to, uh, yeah, just to hit my turnaround. So that's like uh, probably the easiest 17 and a half kilometers of riding I've done oh, certainly in a very long time very long time um, showing like 24 degrees but feeling like a million percent humidity and just terrific yeah a lot of, quite a lot of other bike riders given that it's afternoon but uh, they do things differently here in Italy you know if you tried that in Sydney you know you'd, I don't think you'd make 17 kilometers but uh, I can tell you now that I feel pretty salty. So given that I've only done like 25 metres of elevation gain, and I've got 500 to do in the last eight kilometres, uh, I'm going to spin it around and uh, go and cook some dinner, watch the footy, or watch the soccer, watch the, whatever you want to call it. And uh, oh, that's good. Oh, that's really, really, really good. They say, come to Italy and ride a bike and you'll really enjoy yourself. Well, they, they are right. They are definitely right. And I'm, I'm not joking. When I got the hire car this morning, Michael Rogers said to me, oh, where are you going to go? And I said, oh, I don't know. It was raining and I was getting confused and I was a little bit like, you know, just itching to ride. And I actually started going towards France thinking, oh, I'll just park it up near like uh, Bourges to a song and I uh, got them down Albert Duez or something because that was only like 300 kilometres away. And then um, I got just sort of stuck in traffic coming out of Varese and I thought, let's try something else. So I pulled over, had a coffee, and then just like rolled the dice. And here I am. Not bad, eh? Like, apologies to everyone who's ridden in Italy before. I have been here before, believe it or not. But, you know, like, my eyes are wide open. Certainly haven't filmed while riding here before. It's hardly news of the world that it's a bloody great place to ride, but I'm documenting my experience. So, you know, if you've got questions, I'll tell you about it. It's kind of a cycling story, but it's also a travel log. And I guess the point is, after so many years of following bike racing, I'm just so enjoying riding the bike. Riding my bike, or a bike, not mine. The bike that I only got yesterday, and I'm totally unfamiliar with, but one that makes me feel at ease, comfortable. Here, I time this well, check this building out, hang on. I'll keep filming, and I saw it on the way here, so I know it's bloody unreal. First the view, da da da, and then. Come on, that's pretty bloody unreal. So that's like tourism in someone else's town. And you know why? lovely trees. All of the road that I've just ridden is either 50k an hour zone or 30k an hour zone. It's flat as a tack along the way, duh, and beautiful. 
quite conducive to cycling on account of it being bike paths everywhere. Plenty of um, hotels and the like. And oh, there's a little bit of romance there. So I won't share that. So, just a quick summary before I go up and up and up and up. That was a night, that was less than an hour of riding. Totally pleasurable. I hope these images come out and um, sort of display how it looks through the eyes because it's, oh, it's terrific. All right, I'm about to climb, so I'm about to get out of breath. So I'm gonna shut, the, shut up, put the camera in the pocket. See you later. Vigolo. 5k. So far, it's pretty much 5% the whole way. There was a tiny patch at 8%. Tiny patch. Like 50 metres. But currently, 2%. Again, apologies to everyone who knows the obvious. It's a bloody great place to ride, but you know, like. I'm just going to state it again. Nice gradient. Beautiful road surface. More or less friendly. It's kind of like peak hour, essentially. You know, dinner time. Or get home for dinner time. There's a few renovators delights on the way up. A few beautiful places. Pretty bloody nice. And that's about, probably about halfway up the climb, I think. I think it was about here on the way down that I said I could stop and have a beer and not worry about the ride. But, you know, with the, one of the objectives of this, uh, you know, European adventure being to give up the booze. I would suggest, you know, even if it's just to myself, that doing what I've done this afternoon, this evening, is way better than cracking a coldie. And, um, yeah, healthier, that's for sure. Better for your mind, better for your sleep, better for your soul. And better for your, you know, uh, visual pleasure, visual stimulation, you know, and better for your wallet. And trust me, like, I don't want to come across as I'm lecturing. It's notes for myself. Next time I'm, uh, you know, sitting around cranky after a day at work. I'll remind myself of this day. And I'll, um, just grab a bottle of water from the fridge instead. Yeah, yeah. What do you reckon? For the record, that's the only time I've stopped on this climb. Terrific views, but also beautiful bitumen. Look at this. Sorry to talk so much. You know, I'm traveling on my own, so I guess I talk to the camera now. It was bang on exactly 500 meters of elevation gain for the ride. That's pretty funny. Uh, I've got a little bit of time before the game, so I'll just 
keep going a little bit more, just tiptoeing my way up, very casually, I should add, um, just to find out what comes next. I don't know if it's a through road. I don't know if I need to say this next bit, but I will. I, I, I don't know anything about this place other than what I'm telling you as I see it for the first time. Okay. Um, I know a little bit more now. With the gentle uh, trickle of uh, cowbells down in the valley and a lawnmower somewhere off in the distance, I know a little bit more about this area now and um, I like it. Uh, so I added another 100 metres of elevation going to the, just to, con to, 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 to knock off the ride, the evening ride, the beer o'clock ride without any beer. And um, I'm going to show you one more thing. I've got a little, tiny little bit of battery left and uh, I saw it as I came up, up and it must be like one of the attractions of Vigolo. And I suppose Matt Deneve, this one's going out to you. Stay tuned. Getting the picture. I haven't seen this yet. I'm, I'm going to, you know, look at it for the first time with you guys. Just to give you a little bit of perspective. It is a big bench, isn't it? Vigolo. Vigolo. That's been a terrific ride. Enjoyed myself immensely. Thanks for watching and um, stay tuned. Sorry on my ride, 20th of June, 2024. Now I'll go and watch the game. Cool. Yeah, that was really enjoyable. I enjoyed that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Come to Vigolo, sit on a big bench, get a bit of exercise, and enjoy beer o'clock without a beer. Ciao.